Hey guys, it's Sierra, and I already made a video of how to get organized, um, how to organize your binder, but it was way too long and I wanted to try to make this kind of short. Um, I was going to do a video on how I was going to organize it and organize it on video, but I didn't get to do that, so I'm just going to make a video right now on how I organized it already. Um... I was doing this, so I kind of got off track and didn't record me organizing it. But this is the cover, and it says Sierra's Finder on the front, and some cool stuff from that I cut out from magazines that I thought were funny or that I thought were like really cool. So, as soon as you open my binder, you can see my pencil case and my notebook. I'm gonna be using this really cute Hello Kitty notebook um, for math. Um, you can get notebooks like this for a dollar at Target, and all of, they were like all on sale. There's only dollar notebooks that have actually good quality, like, they don't break or whatever. But I like that, because I like Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty's like really cute. Okay, so then, here's my Hello Kitty pencil case. Um, I have, ugh, sorry, um... I have stuff in here. I'm not going to take it out because I organized it so well. I don't want to ruin it. But I have grippies up here. I have four different colored um, mechanical pencils. Um, colored pencils with, si with scissors on top. And a glue stick and some pens. So that's what I have in my pencil case. Um, here's a planner. Sometimes schools give you planners. But sometimes they're like smaller than this. Like that small like really I've seen some like that um or some I just don't like because they're just too hard to write in <laughs> I don't even think that's possible but whatever um this is five star me this was only a this was only five dollars the bigger ones were kind of like ten dollars but I got a good price off of this so I got kind of the smaller one but it's actually big enough for me right on this page you can write anything if you get it lost or something and if your um, s uh, class schedule, sorry, um, changes every semester, you can change your class schedule and stuff. So I thought that was cool. And then here you can just keep your grades or whatever. It's a grade keeper, and this is a hall pass. Um, so when you open up to the first month, it just look. Oh, it goes from August 2011 to December 2012. Um, but... They'll show you a calendar first, and then they'll give you all the days where you can just, like, write. And what's cool about this is that when you're done with the homework assignment, you can check it off. And then down here, if you have any extra stuff that you need to write that's important, just write it in there. So I thought that was cool. These are from last year because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like buying new ones because I already had some. So I'm using those. This is normally that I use for homework. But I have extra classes this year, so I'm not going to be. Um, so I'll tell you about this folder after this. But this is for language arts, um, reading, and Spanish notebook. And I have an extra notebook that says XOXO on it. And if I need it, I'll use that. And then extra paper. Um, yeah. And then back here I have my folder. And like I said, the clear part... The clear thing right here, yeah. I was going to use that for homework because that's what I usually use it for. But I've decided to make this as a homework folder to stay more organized. And plus, I have more classes this year since I switched schools. So, yeah, the schedule's kind of different. But I can do, like, homework to do, things to turn in, and stuff. Yeah, I go to a school where it actually starts late. It starts September 6th. And, um, I have to go to this thing, um, September 1st, to, um, it's for the new kids that are going to the school to meet all your teachers, and I think I'll be getting my schedule that day, so then I can put all the tabs in order for all the, um, folders for the classes, so, yeah, I'm really excited, so, I hope this helped you, I guess, I don't know, but, um, thanks for watching, bye!